request permission to engage. Over. Permission denied, Death Angel. Your extraction point is five clicks away. Exfil at 1000. Satellite shows multiple enemy hostiles at your location. Bear, you copy that? We need to move or we're not gonna make it. Roger that. We got bad intel. There's more threats than reported. Lay some hate, brothers. Lay some hate. Death Angel, your QRF team just went out on another mission. Don't get any crazy ideas. You're on your own. Gotta love those budget cuts. Bear, we gotta move to the extract point now. I get us in, you get us out. Bear, we're gonna miss our exit window. We gotta move now. Copy that, cowboy. Bear's off top. Nash, get him out of there! No one come for you. You are uh, expendable. No. We both know we're not gonna talk. So why don't you just get on with whatever you need to get on with? Afi Said. We don't want you to die too soon. That would ruin our fun and my experiment. Nothing strikes fear into my men more than when they hear the Marines are coming. You have a very big price on your head. You must be proud. How did you find our location? If you tell me what I want to know, you will save yourself and your friends a lot of pain. <laughs> I call this the tour of Afghanistan. Only the purest of heroin for our celebrity. She will be your greatest lover and your worst enemy all in one. Focus on this beautiful woman, your girlfriend. Tell me everything or you will never see her again. Yes.
Bear. Bear. You get us in, I get us out. Now we gotta go. And we still gotta find Ryan and Nash while the guards are still at a call to prayer. Up, oh, Maureen. Let's go. Okay, hold, hold, hold. And our gear. Then you're gonna tell us where we are. <laughs> You'll never make it. No? Okay. <sighs> Who won't make it? Wait. Your weapons are next door down. Get the laptop. I'll tell you what you want to know. Hey, me and Ryan can take care of the rest of the guard. You guys get out of here with this intel. That intel's priceless. Meet us three clicks due north at 0630. Simple five, boys. We're not there by 0630. You guys move out. Maintain radio silence until 0630. Shepherd, come in. I said, lost sheep to shepherd, lost sheep to shepherd, come in. Move out. Don't wait. We're a little tied up. Keep fighting. We're coming back. That's a negative, Death Angel. Proceed as planned. En route to you, hold fast. Negative. We found comms. Airstrike call. Danger close. ETA. ETA, 30 seconds. Tell my son I'm proud of him. Even if he's third string. Get out of there. Number five. Our responsibility, Beth. Our responsibility. And we got them killed. No, you got them killed. None of this had to happen, man. This is your fault, Beth. We kill Haji's cowboy. That's what we do. As many as we can, as often as we can. We kill them all. And Ryan and Nash just paid the price. We move right now, or we die. Now get up. Besides, Mia wants that baby you promised, baby. It's useless. Now leave me or leave me alone. I am not leaving you, cowboy. Now get up. This ain't going away, bear. All right, move your legs, not your lips. Let's go. Exactly when can I go home? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. Looks like your uh, analase and lyopase levels are elevated and 
uh, your liver function really isn't what we want it to be. I mean, you got to understand that they injected you with some pretty bad stuff. Such as? You know, that's part of the puzzle we're trying to put together now. I understand this is difficult for you. Just try to be patient. God, you're alive. I promise I was coming back for you, Sky. Remember the plan? Yeah, I remember the plan. Get you out of here. You wanted space? I gave you space. Yeah. You gave me plenty of space. You broke up with me three years ago. Let's just start over again. Why? So you can leave me again? I had to leave. You chose to leave. I was protecting you. No, you were running. I hear the guys call you Dr. Rev. So you're a reverend and a doctor? You hear the body and the soul? <laughs> I don't really heal anything. I just, I don't know, I'm just trying to help out a little bit, that's all. Oh, see, now you're talking. See, I want out of here today, Doc. And that's what's gonna help me. I'll tell you what, if you let me out of here today, I'll go to one of your little Bible meetings you do with the guys. Deal? Jesus would want you to let me go. So you're telling me you know Jesus? Oh, yeah. He was on my first sniper team. Hispanic guy, five foot seven, great shot. Jesus has got skills. Yeah, it looks like Chris has got jokes. Spare me the sermon, Doc. I know all about Jesus. I guess I just feel guilty because I only call on him when I'm getting shot at. You know it's not really about that, right? If you want to be my friend, Doc, let me out of here. Oh, Chris, I am your friend. And trust me, I want you out of here because you're driving me nuts, man. I'll check in with you soon, buddy. Sign me out, Doc. Thought we'd hang out a little bit. With a box of my favorite chocolate? <laughs> That's not random. Do you remember the time that we stole a box from Howard's and we scarfed the entire thing in the alley? We got so sick. <sighs> my dad got a hold of us, made us clean the entire gym. Your dad drove me to the boys' home. He almost dropped me off. I think you would have if you weren't such a great fighter. <laughs> so what is all this? I want to fix this. There's nothing to fix. Everything's fine. I promise you I'd be back. And now we're like this. You left me. I see you. But I hear your dad's words coming in. Don't blame dad. He took you in and he trained you and he got you a title fight. You had a shot at the title and you blew it. There's something you need to know about that fight. It's too late. You lost, and then you ran away. And I am not the girl that you leave. I'm the girl you hold on to. Snap.
there. Let's go. We're not gonna make it. Ryan and Nash were our responsibility. Our responsibility. I am not the girl you leave behind, Bear. If you love me, let me go. She will be your greatest lover and your worst enemy all in one. Your love and your hate for her will never go away. This guy rolling, man. Wakey, wakey. Oh, wake up, man. I know you got some boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you playing dead on us. Everyone's best interest? Mm -hmm. I don't speak bureaucracy. Who is this guy and why would I let him go? His name is Bear, and the rest is top secret. All things exaggerated. Look, Hardwick, his team is our most lethal weapon. That's all I can say. Now let's just pretend that Bear doesn't exist and that this whole thing didn't happen. I take assault and battery on my men pretty seriously. You're lucky they're not dead. Besides, your department has had seven brutality complaints in the last year, and if this goes to press, you're gonna have another riot on your hands. So, let's just call this even. On whose authority? As high as I need to go. Charlie, is he a good guy or a bad guy? He's necessary. This can't happen again. Did you hear me? This is in Afghanistan. And sometimes the lines get blurry, but these are the people that we're supposed to protect. We're gonna get you a little help. We owe you that much. You will report here regularly for treatment. That is in order. Do you understand? Well, I still think you need to treat in-house, but, I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine, too. I'll write you a prescription for your withdrawals. I almost forgot. Remember what we talked about? You know, just in case you need it. That's just really not my thing. No, I'm not trying to push it on you. It's just, um... Leave it laying right there. You never know, Bear. You might just change your mind. Doc, tell me you got my test results back because my wife wants me back home, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I've got them right here. Let me guess, I got six months to live. <laughs> oh, I wish we had that much time. <laughs> Doc's always got jokes, man. That's not funny. Actually, that's kind of cruel. I'm not making a joke, Chris. But you have three months to live. 
you serious? We'll, we'll, we'll check it again. Because that's wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Chris, I've run them three times. When they captured you, they injected you with something called zinc cadmium sulfite. It gets into your system and it tries to poison. It tries to shut your organs down. They, they, they've got to have a cure. We're only 10 minutes away from the CDC. It doesn't matter. The VA, they're not going to pay for it because they can't afford it. They're broke. What are you saying to me, man? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes, yes. You're sorry. You're sorry. I want to be alone, Doc. Listen, Chris, if I want to be alone. Please. You understand? No, you don't understand. Hey man, I need you to hook me up. Contract job, private sector, good pay. No cowboy needs help paying for his medical treatment. You still got your TS clearance? No man, they got me benched. I'm sorry, Bear. No clearance, no work, bro. There's nothing I can do. There's gotta be something. Bear, you remember that kid Tommy Brown? That's the we work with in Iraq? Yeah man, good guy. Yeah, well look, he's about to fight this psycho Darwin. God, I hope he gets this guy beating. Need to get back in the ring, Bear. That's gonna be your ticket. Somebody's been asking for a cowgirl. That would be me. Mm -hmm. You're not happy to see me? I'm always happy to see you. We're gonna be fine. I have some news. You're gonna be a dad. A dad? I thought you would be ecstatic. I, I'm very excited. I mean, this is fantastic. We're gonna, baby. Tell me something else. Yeah, no, look, can I have a baby? <laughs> I love you, puppy. I love you too. I thought you were gonna leave me again. No. I'm not leaving you ever again. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> After all these years we found. Tommy Brown, the former Navy SEAL turned MMA fighter, faced Jabari Darwin, the reigning light heavyweight mixed martial arts world champion. We take you now to Kareen Dyer, who is live on the scene. Darwin, the most controversial fighter in MMA, took this fight in an attempt to clean up his reputation. These cheap shots literally knocked Tommy Brown into a coma as his son watched the tragic ordeal from the front row. Darwin is now suspended for a year, if not permanently. Here comes Darwin now. Darwin, tell us your thoughts. What would you tell Tommy's son right now? <laughs> I tell him what I tell everybody else. It pops him not to get in the cage with me. 
He knew the consequences and he suffered a risk. But this was an exhibition match that was supposed to help clean up your reputation. You clearly made it worse. In fact, you've recently been suspended from mixed yeah, martial arts for a year. How does that help your career? Look, lady, I don't got to talk to you, man. Get out of my face. There you have it. <laughs> Careful, bud. What can I do for you? Is uh, Coach Bronx still around? Uh, yeah, he's in his office. Are you a friend of his? Yeah. Are you gonna get a membership? I can give you the first month free, but don't expect many favors from me. Cody Black Bear. Couldn't visit your old trainer, huh? The scholar told me you were in town. How you been, son? Outstanding. Yeah, well, you look good. I thought you'd be all shot up by now. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. So you still, uh, dancing with the devil? Oh, 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 no, I gave up dancing. But the band keeps playing, don't you know? Ah, oh, come on. Just a game. <laughs> no, I'm expecting a grandchild. But I'm sure Scott will mention that. Congratulations. Thank you, Bear. I knew you'd understand. Understood. You always made your position on me and Skylar very clear. It was Skylar's decision. Skylar's decision? I stayed out of it. I'm older and wiser. Oh, you're wise. Now. Bear. She's moved on. She's finally happy. Red? Engineer graduated from tech, helps me train. He breaks down fighter stats and all that smart stuff, you know? Is he still training then? Yeah, we got lots of kids in here. Keeps them off the streets. Off the streets? <laughs> A role model. Father Teresa here. What's going on, Bear? I never said that. I never said I was a role model. I still see the same old broken down nightmare. Are you drunk, Bear? Is he gonna train me? Or be my life coach? Train you? You can't be serious about fighting again, pal. Is that why you're here? I'm here for your wisdom. I can't train you, Bear. There's too much too much. Tell you what, Bear. You can work out here. I cannot train you. I know you got more than this. Come mm. on, you can do better. Three more. Three more? I can't even do one. Let me see here. I think they gave me the wrong paperwork. What's that? <laughs> because it says here, mistakenly, of course, that you're a Marine. But let me correct that. Because you're more like a Girl Scout. Oh, 
I see you failed out of charm school. Oh, and I see the Marines made an exception to the man, and we're looking for a few good men. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, everything's wonderful. I feel like I'm in Disneyland. I'm having so much fun. Oh, don't worry, Doc. It'll get tougher. I'm just easing him into it. Well, I kind of got some good news for you. We have an anonymous donor that's going to help you get into that treatment program that we talked about. And it's not going to get you all the way through it, but it is going to get you started. And Nurse London here, she's going to get you back on track. Does Nurse London also specialize in waterboarding? Nurse London is the best that we have, so just stick to the program, Girl Scout. <laughs> so, does Mia know about your diagnosis? No, not yet. to show you the nursery. I love you, Mia. I carried Bear over the mountains of Afghanistan just to see that smile again. Pretty sure I heard that a little different. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be there when our baby is born. Okay. Okay, so you'll be in here. We'll just, we'll just figure it out. Here. I won't be here. Another mission? You told me you were getting out. You can't go. No. You can't go. My last mission was my last mission, Mia. Take another mission. It'll kill me. I mean, I've only done it like a thousand there times. There are no I'm... more missions, Mia. I'm dying. Look, my organs are shutting down. I... <laughs> no. No, Poppy. No. No, we're starting a family. No. No, and you're going to be right there beside me. You're not going anywhere. You've got to be no. strong, Mia. No. You've got to be strong. I can't do it. Yeah, you can. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling, and I told you. I said, not this time. Stop. Not this deployment. Stop. No. Stop. Stop. Come here. Come here. You can't leave me. Stop. 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 Gotta be strong for all three of us. <laughs> you got to. Check out Father Time. Trying to be fancy over here. Oh, yeah, manito. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. <laughs> we got a Mike Tyson here, huh? Yeah, hello. You're the champ. Don't waste any of your time with this old man. <laughs> Yo, he might be ugly, but he ain't stupid. Hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Yo, I'm talking to you. Oh, you're not listening to me now? Old man? You washed up, old man? Oh, you're viejito. That's not what I went. Mira me. Come on, you know who I am? Huh? Come on, give me. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Who was that? You, come here. 
Get up, Chulo. That didn't happen, okay? It just happened, man. Hey, listen to me. That didn't happen. Let me see your phone. Get it now? I'll take a walk. Good night. Good luck, Jack. You kidding me with this? Get him up. Get him out of here for some of the seasons. Sir, can we talk? I've been thinking about what you said, and I changed my mind. I want to train you, Bear. It'll be like old times, only better. I know you heard me. I said I want to train you. Nah, I'll change my mind too. There's a huge underground fight. It's called the basement. Single elimination event when it takes all big cash prize. You ever heard of it? I know you want to fight in it, Bear. I can get you in. You heard me, I said I can get you in. And it won't be easy, by the way. You know, you got some nerve, Father Teresa. First you turn Skylar against me. Then you don't want to train me. Now, you see an opportunity for yourself. And now you want to train me. Hey, look, you want to fight the basement. I'll train you, we'll split the purse 80 20, not negotiable. We train by my rules, and we train with who, what, and how I want to train you, no exceptions. The game has changed out there, little buddy. Now, you surprised Chulo, but I don't think that'll happen again. And that punk Darwin, he's been suspended, so he'll be going underground. He'll be fighting in the basement. What do you say, pal? Nah, I'm not interested. Rule number one. You gotta drop that monkey that's been sucking the life out of you. And I know you tuned up those cops. Half the APD works out here. And in 30 minutes, I want everything I don't want you using on my desk. If not, deal's off. And I'm gonna screen you too. I'm gonna drug test you once a week. If you pop up positive, you're done, pal. 30 minutes. Red, William, yeah, I need your help. I have a new fighter for the basin. I need to train him. You'll see when you get here. Hey, what's up? Hey, nothing. Well, if that's something, you might want to consider starting a career as a fighter. You'd give those girls a run for their money. 
I don't think so. <laughs> Um, I'll just see you at home, okay? Sounds good. All righty, here we go. What's he doing here? He's part of the deal, and you already agreed to it. We need Red to help us win. You out of your mind? For what it's worth, Skylar said you guys are through. Stop talking. Look, pal, I know a lot of things are eating away at you. When I came back from Nam, I had to make some adjustments, too. Things don't have to be this way, pal. Just training. That's it. Just training. That's it. Warm up five minutes with the rope, then grappling, then circuits with the weights. Cardio, lots of cardio. Lots and lots and lots of cardio. You've got this, Bear. What's up, big boy? How you doing, Micah? All right, put your, put your feet apart, like mine. There we go. All right, come on, give me some. Whoa. Oof. How's school? Good. You studying hard? Yes. How's your mouth? Good. You taking care of her? Yeah. Put your hands up like this. Like this. All right, lean over. Lean your head in. Now go. Whoa. That's pretty good. All right, square up. Take care of your mom. No time for no friend. Why you been fighting, Bear? You got a death wish or a miracle up your sleeve? Because Darwin can't be beat. I had to fire for my crew, man. He's crazy. He beat up some of the girls. Ruins some of them for life. He ends careers. You, you too good to talk to me now? Listen, if you're still mad about Skylar, you need to drop that, man. Her and Red's been friendly for a long time, and I mean really friendly. Now, I know Coach Bronx kept you around because he needed you for his big payday, but you and Skylar were never going to happen. I mean, you had to know that, right? What do you want? Hey, you know the drill. I might need a little favor. Be in touch. I'm running out. I don't mind picking you something up. No, thanks. I haven't seen you eat all day. I'll uh, leave my number on the counter in case you change your mind. Here are the pictures. Congratulations, you two. Thank, Thank you. you.
Please. Let me stay here so I can be a good father to, to this child. Please. <laughs> Lift those knees. Lift those knees. There you go. Push it. Push it. Come on. Can you excuse us for a minute, drill instructor, sergeant, nurse, London, ma'am? Okay. We'll take a break. But it's going to cost you. What are you doing here? Just came to check on you. Well, here I am. Cowboy. I'm trying to make things right. Oh, I'm trying to make things right too. I'm fighting for this little one. So he can have a dad. Just want to see how you're doing. All right. Now you see, I'm right where you put me. You always had to push it. You always had to go the extra mile. You always had to take another shot. We done here? Yeah, we're done here. Hey, the least you can do is win that tournament. But I'm not perfect. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm calm now. Listen. 
listen, I'm just working. Yeah, it might take a minute to get it, but once you get it, everything will be crystal clear. I don't think they see my vision here. I don't think they see my vision here. Don't tell me that this isn't real. Don't tell me this ain't how I feel. Oh, this is all I have. One more time, let's go. Okay, tomorrow's showtime. Get some sleep, come on, out of here. Let's go, we're out. There you go, Martin. That was a good day. Fight's about to start. I know. Let's keep it clean. No cheap shots. Touch gloves. Back up to your corners. Let's make it count.
Tell Bear I'm coming for him. When I'm done with him, not even the Boy Scouts will want Not disturbing you. I just thought I'd come out here and say congratulations. And I was hoping I could take you out to celebrate. I mean, if you're hungry and don't mind the company. Mike is with my mom, so it would just be us. I can't, Summer. Yeah. I don't want to disturb the tournament. I just thought maybe you needed to relax. <laughs> no worries. Um, maybe after the tournament, we could hang out. I mean, Micah has really taken a liking to you, and I don't know- Summer, you don't want this. Trust me. Just tell me you're not interested, Bear. I'm a big girl, I can take it. Cody, listen, uh, you're gonna take a tumble in the first round, okay? You're gonna go down, I'm gonna make a lot of dough, but most importantly, is you and I'll be square. You got it? That's not gonna happen. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll cut you in, 20%. Hey, I'm patriotic, you big jarhead. Now you listen to me, Coach Bronx is into me for several G's, you got it? He came to me to get you in on this deal. Hey, hey, first round. All right, who you calling? Cops. Yeah, all right, you tell him I said hello. First round, remember that. I will make sure you never forget it. Show. Well, you both have been here before. We will have a clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, back up your corners, we'll fight on my signal. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight!
can't take a hint. Hey, Bronx, I lost because of your boy Bear. Mm -hmm. Now he's got some heat on him, but you're going to set it straight. No, that will be your problem, since you're the idiot who bet against him. Actually, it's your problem, because his debt is your debt. That's not the way that works. That's between you and Bear. I got nothing to do with it. But see, Bear owes me. And you owe Bear, so I'm going to collect from you. That's how this accounting works. I owe Bear nothing. Are you crazy? Or are you going to see now? You owe him everything! I don't owe you or Bear a thing. Now, what you guys going to do? Going to cut off my legs? I don't think so. <laughs> Is he serious? You, you really don't know, do you? Know what? As requested. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. I owe you one. You got about 10 minutes. Okay, thanks, pal. Hi, Drake. Let's get ready to go. Give me your back. Let's go. Oh, Bear! Hey, Osito Viejo, come on, man. Give me the cheap shot. It's not happening again. Look at me. Hey, that's look enough. at me. That's enough. Back in your corner. Huh? Stay in your corner. You today. You saw my last fight? You choked him up. Stop. Take off your jacket. Let me see your hands. Arms out. Oh man, what's up? Oh, uh, what's up, Grandpa? Come on, you ready? Let's Back go. up for me. Back up. Come on, you ready? Let's go. Bring it in, guys. Welcome to the semifinals. Touch gloves, back up to your corners.
deep breaths. Bear. Bear, wake up. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. Wake up, buddy. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, did you really believe I wouldn't find out? You cost me my future, Skyler's future. Get online, Maureen. Get your hands up. Oh, I ought to tear you apart from your eyebrows to your toenails. You think I'm a fool? How dare you come into my gym after all you've done? You didn't think I could handle it, did you? You think I'm a weak old man? I'll show you, weak old man. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me you threw the title fight to protect us from Scorch? You didn't have to throw the fight for us. We could have won. We would. Yeah, you protected us. But I can't fix this one, Bear. The bell's rung and you can't unrung it. The fight's over. <laughs> oh, thank you. Every day, gone. And look at what I do to Micah. You just take care of her from now on, okay? Okay, I can do that. I know you can. These are for me? Yes. Listen, I need you to be tough, like a Marine. Got it? Got it. Wake up. 
go. Puppy, we are lost. Puppy. Chris. Chris. Wake up. Chris, this isn't funny. Wake up. Puppy, wake up. I need a nurse. He's not waking up. He's falling into a toxic induced coma. What does that okay, mean? His liver is starting to fail. Okay, his vitals, they're actually not as bad as I expected. Um, get transport to get him to the third floor now. Right away. He's in a coma. Just don't. I'm sorry. Don't. <sighs> I, um, uh, I'm sorry, Mia. Yeah. What? I'm back in the fight. They make you my drink? You cannot do this. I beg you, don't do this. There. You can't pretend me, little buddy. You're hurt and bad. Even at your best. Your very best. You're an underdog with this guy. He's a killer. I won't be a part of this. I will not be a part of this. If you walk into that ring, if you walk into that ring and not walking out the same, do you understand? That guilt gets trapped in the soul, doesn't it? It's hard to keep from choking when it's just itching to come out. Guilt? You're talking crazy, Bear. Just let it out, Bronx. You got a lot of nerve. What do you got to say? Spit it out, tough guy. Red told me. Red told you what? Somebody making my drink for the Chulo fight. Why'd you do it? What, make you a drink? I didn't make you a drink. I mean, you got hit in the head one too many times. I just want to know why. Why what? Why I make you a drink? I didn't make you a drink. Why would you say that? How much did he pay you? Pay me? You crazy. Who? I didn't do it. I had nothing to do with it. You're lying. It was the only way to protect you, Bear. You're like my kid. You can't win this one, Bear. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over.
surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. going to start off punishing his legs. Just take him to the ground, go for the submission. I don't care if he taps out. You don't stop. Put him away and put him away now. Let's go. Not two, gentlemen. Come on, Bear. I gotta stop this fight. You're finished. Let me stop this fight. Okay, Leo. This one's on you, Bear. Listen, we've got one shot and one shot only. Switch to southpaw stance. If that don't put your weak leg in front, that's the bait, and Darwin won't resist it. Block his kick, then give him a shot to the chin with everything you've got. That's gonna stun him, and then you choke him out. Bear, if you don't land that punch, we lose.
We don't always know where this journey we call life is going to take us, do we? One of the greatest gifts that God gave us in this life is friendship. Love and friendship. The two are inseparable. Jesus led by example. He died willingly as our savior to pay for our wrongs, but he was and is our greatest friend. Jesus said there is no greater love than when one lays down his life for his friend. I'm reminded of that old hymn, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. And so dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of one of our most precious friends. We will greatly miss you, Staff Sergeant Cody Bear, Black Bear. Bear was a warrior, a man of war, who was at times at war with everyone, including himself. Yet Cody was that friend who, in the end, gave everything. When he was captured, he was poisoned with toxins by his captors, but chose to suffer in silence, telling no one. Cody had a choice. He could either have saved himself or another. His last mission was to fight to save Christopher Cowboy Parker, knowing it would cost him his life. The Marine's motto was Semper Fidelis, which in Latin means always faithful. So today we recognize the perfect example of always faithful in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today we also recognize an imperfect example, the example of Staff Sergeant Cody Black Bear. Godspeed, Bear, and Semper Fidelis. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Marine Corps, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a token of our appreciation of your loved ones' faithful and honorable service to country and corps. Sometimes all you gotta do is just trust. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. People don't know what I've been through. People don't know what I feel. The fact that I'm back on this mic is making me sick. Another rapper who won't swallow the pill. Munchausen, I wanna be ill. Turn up the music and send me the hospital bill. I'd rather do this, be me. Forget everyone, I just wanna be real. Yeah. See, I stepped in the ring. <laughs> I stepped in the ring, gloves on, fist up, took the hits, but I took the hits for the ones that I love. Now I'm down on the ground, body bruised, eyes closed, blood flows, blinded by lights in the roar of the crowd. My demons stand over me now, yeah. I flash back to my worst days with my worst pain, full of mistakes or full of myself. These days I'm in Hades, facing blue flames in the form of my true shame, full of disgrace. Where's your grace? Where's your face? I swear to God, these are my last days, like, yeah. I'm outside of the gates, yeah. I feel so untouchable. I feel so ashamed, the leopard who knows his miserable fate with no faith. I'm a man blinded by my rage, by my hate. God, I ask again, where's your love? Where's your grace? All I see is pain, yeah. I see alone against the storm. My mind is stars, but the light is gone. With my battle scars, my shattered heart. Mm, and now I hear an empty words, yeah. My mind is torn. Lost in the winds roar, the precious words that can save my soul. But all I hear are empty words. And if you hear me, I just 
wish you would know that I don't have a plan. I don't understand. Think I can get up again. But what? All I know is that I'm not enough. All I know is that I fell time and time again. Time and time again. Let every emotion just flood in like violent waves of the ocean that run dark with my sin. Blood water. My hands, they run red. Once again, what have I done? I see the bodies floating the stream. I scream, God, please help me. I've been losing it lately. I've been feeling so crazy. Bible inside of a drawer. I never read it anymore. Every prayer locked away inside the darkest of doors. But I'll give you all of the keys and I'll give you all of me. Yeah. Just break this prison that I made with my own words for me. I mean, not my own worst enemy. Yeah. God, give me mercy. Look me in the face and tell me that someone like me really gets all that grace. God, give me mercy. Look me in the face and tell me that someone like me really gets all that grace. Oh, but all 